The Tesla Tower, an experimental wireless transmission station, was designed and built by Nikola Tesla in Shoreham, New York, between 1901 and 1902. In late 2018, a company called Visit Technologies, located near Milford, Texas, finished constructing an unusual tower resembling Nikola Tesla's tower, famous for its gridded support beams and hemispherical top. However, these two towers shared more than just external similarities. Through collaborative efforts with Baylor University, the company is attempting to create an electrical grid with this tower, without the need for cables, power poles, or transformers. The aim is to provide wireless electricity to approximately one and a half billion people who lack infrastructure. Nikola Tesla was ready to establish a wireless power grid 120 years ago, but not all of his inventions were so harmless. Moreover, some of Tesla's inventions could even have brought about the end of the world. During his lifetime, Nikola Tesla obtained patents for over 300 inventions in 26 countries. And while the number of his unpatented inventions is close to thousands, no one knows the exact figure. His revolutionary ideas were so ahead of their time that many seemed like science fiction. In 1926, Collier's Magazine published a shocking interview with Tesla Predicting that the world would soon advance significantly in technology, Tesla made statements like people being able to communicate instantly, no matter how far apart they were, and the devices they used to do so would be small enough to fit in their pockets. He almost predicted the rise of the internet, mobile phones, and Wi-Fi. He was also certain that all railways would be electrified and automated devices would be used in homes. Beyond all this, Tesla made predictions that seem incredible even today. He described flying cars and parking towers as ordinary things. However, he suggested that humanity would need almost another hundred years to develop them. Recently, news about working on flying cars has started to come in. In 2022, Aleph Aeronautics, a California-based company, announced the development of a flying car prototype. Named Model A, the car can travel 320 kilometers on the road and fly 175 kilometers. Model A became the first electric flying car to receive a special airworthiness certificate from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. Production of Model A is planned to start in the fourth quarter of 2025, with deliveries shortly after. Aleph Aeronautics announced that pre-orders for the first flying electric car reached 2,500 by the end of the year, up from 400. Apart from this, when you hear Tesla's claims about photography, you'll immediately forget about flying cars. Photography was just starting to develop in his time. For example, Kodak cameras became available to the public in 1988. However, Tesla was obsessed with a camera that could take pictures of the human mind. In the early 1930s, he announced his plans to photograph thoughts. From 1893 onwards, he conducted research related to a machine that could produce images of mental images. The widespread use of radio waves in the late 19th century inspired Tesla with the idea of creating a thought device. He believed that human brain waves could be transmitted through special transmitters, like sound waves distributed through a telephone. Thus, people could communicate using the power of the brain and technology. Although it seems quite reasonable, researchers are still looking for ways to implement it. In 2023, a group of neurobiologists from the US, Singapore, and Hong Kong taught artificial intelligence to decipher thoughts through brain scans. During the experiment, volunteers entered MRI machines and looked at various pictures. When scientists scanned their brains, they observed changes in blood flow. The experiments showed that artificial intelligence could generate images from participants' brains that matched the source photographs with an 84% accuracy rate. Perhaps scientists have come a little closer to creating a thought machine. However, not all of Tesla's ideas were just fantastic and harmless thoughts. Some were so wild that scientists wouldn't even risk trying them. In 1889, Tesla began studying high frequency and high voltage electric currents. At frequencies above 700 Hertz, electricity flows on the surface of the body and doesn't harm its tissues. Experiments led the inventor to a disinfection method. The effect the skin showed under the influence of electric current indicated that it was possible to heal melia rash, clean pores, and kill microbes. 
This method was called cold fire. Tesla suggested using electricity in daily life instead of soap and water. He was convinced that electricity was not only several times more efficient than traditional hygiene methods, but also provided a significant energy boost. When a person standing on a metal plate was exposed to a 2.5 million volt alternating current from the outside, they appeared to be covered in fire from the outside. The invention never received funding, but the method is widely used today in modern electrotherapy. At an electrical exhibition held at Madison Square Garden in 1898, Tesla presented a remote-controlled submarine to the public. The small ship, equipped with antennas, was a little over a meter long and a little over a meter high, moving around the pool on its own. Inside, it had a battery, radio modules, and electric motors. Outside the submarine, Tesla also invented a remote control to control the ship, calling the remote control concept Tele-Automatic. The show the audience watched seemed incredible. In an interview following the exhibition, Tesla claimed that such submarines could be used for security, gliding safely over secretly mined waters, attacking other vehicles in the water, and returning. The inventor believed that similar machines could provide a critical advantage in a war and save people's lives. However, the military concluded that controlling such a ship would require actions that were difficult to perform in battle. Nevertheless, unmanned aerial vehicles have become commonplace today. For example, in May 2023, Nauticus Robotics demonstrated the capabilities of an underwater robot called Defender. Defender is a revolutionary unmanned underwater vehicle. Its main feature is that it has software that supports artificial intelligence. Thanks to this, it can monitor and neutralize explosives at a great distance. Electrically powered Zeppelins were another of Tesla's revolutionary inventions. He claimed they could carry passengers from New York to London at an altitude of over 13 kilometers in just three hours. The inventor thought that such machines could generate their own energy, not having to land for refueling. He also said that they could be unmanned and land wherever the passenger wanted. Unfortunately, there wasn't a single company willing to provide credit for such a revolutionary idea. But almost a hundred years later, humanity conquered the skies with unmanned aerial vehicles. Turkey now has 16 different models of unmanned aerial vehicles. The most well-known of these, Bayraktar, made its first flight in 2014 and has many different models available. While unmanned aerial vehicles are used for various purposes today, small drone models have become readily available ordinary machines, even used in homes. Nikola Tesla also worked in the defense industry sector. In 1917, the scientist unveiled a submarine tracking device. He proved that it was possible to track the position of a submarine with electromagnetic waves. No one took his idea seriously at the time, but in the 1930s, the first radars emerged, determining the location of objects underwater and in the air, helping to detect their proximity and speeds. The vast majority of Tesla's inventions remained on paper during his lifetime, but perhaps this is much better because there is ample evidence that scientists were working on secret deadly weapons. Tesla was one of these scientists. On June 13, 1908, a remote region of Siberia was shaken by a terrifying explosion. The intensity of the explosion is estimated to be equivalent to 20 megatons of TNT. One megaton of TNT contains enough explosive power to provide an average house with 105,000 years of energy. Witnesses to the explosion reported that a second sun appeared in the sky, rose at a terrifying speed, and exploded about 20 kilometers above the ground. The blast waves circled the Earth and were recorded by all meteorological observatories. The explosion of a 100-meter diameter fireball destroyed a 2,000-kilometer forest and felled 80 million trees. Even 800 kilometers away from the epicenter of the explosion, they heard the blast. Witnesses 60 kilometers away stated that the ground beneath their feet shook. Terrifying thunder sounds echoed around them and the sky was filled with lightning. The energy explosion was 185 times higher than that of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. Seismic tremors were felt even in England. For several days following, bright silver clouds were observed in the sky in the Northern Hemisphere, 
and the night was as bright as day. There are currently over 100 explanations for what caused the explosion. Among these, those related to Nikola Tesla's name are quite numerous. According to allegations, similar effects occurred while the famous inventor was conducting experiments at the Warden Cliff Tower. Tesla was obsessed with the idea of wireless electricity transmission. He started planning the tower in 1898. Three years later, its construction began. However, the project was never completed when funding was withdrawn. Then, there's a hypothesis that he continued experimenting at the tower until 1908, and it's said that it wasn't designed solely for peaceful purposes. In an interview with the New York Times, Tesla claimed that experimental wireless power transmission units could destroy any part of the Earth, turning it into an uninhabitable desert. There's also a legend that the scientist's final work was used in what's known as the Philadelphia Experiment. On October 28, 1943, allegedly the USS Eldridge, a 1250-ton Navy escort destroyer, traveled over 600 kilometers and returned within a few minutes. The application of the unified field theory to the experiment was thought to be creating a very strong electromagnetic field and bending or refracting the light and radar signals coming onto the ship, thus providing optical invisibility. In line with this, two giant generators with a power of 75 VA were mounted under the ship's front gun turrets from where four magnetic beams would be emitted onto the ship's deck. Three RF transmitters, each with two megawatts of CW power, were also mounted on the deck. 3,006 L6 power amplifier tubes would transmit the power generated by the two generators, while other equipment with special matching and modulation circuits would minimize the massive electromagnetic fields generated, and refracted beams and radio waves would surround the ship ultimately making it invisible to enemy observers. The goal was invisibility, but it's claimed that the Navy accidentally achieved matter teleportation in this experiment. According to this story, the USS Eldridge traveled to the Norfolk Military Naval Base, 640 kilometers away from the Philadelphia port, and back again on the morning of October 28th, and this event happened within a few minutes. This experiment resulted in the deaths of 160 crew members. 27 sailors melted and became part of the ship. 13 died from radiation and electric shock. The results were so horrific that the experiment was never repeated, and today there's no evidence that it actually happened. The only source of information about the Philadelphia experiment was Carl M. Allen, a former sailor who claimed to have witnessed it. Allen said the experiment began on July 22, 1943, at 9 o'clock in the morning, by powering up the generators. After this stage, a greenish fog started to cover the ship, and the USS Eldridge disappeared. Allen said he had no proof, but argued that he could participate in a hypnosis session or take sodium pentothal, a truth serum that breaks down willpower, to prove he was telling the truth and recount what he saw. In 1893, the inventor created a vibration generator whose purpose was to shake a building. The device proved that it could destroy a building by increasing the vibrations on it. In 1898, while conducting experiments in New York, he realized that the device had caused an earthquake. The vibrations had spread outside the building's walls, and frightened people ran out of their homes. Tesla was confident that he could split the earth in two by speeding up the device. When he realized the danger of his invention, he broke the generator with a hammer and remained silent for a long time about the reasons behind the earthquake. However, Tesla didn't stop working on deadly weapons. He moved from artificial earthquakes to man-made tsunamis. And in 1907, the New York World reported on another of Tesla's military inventions. He had invented a remote-controlled device for detonating explosives offshore the invention was intended to create large tidal waves, which could easily sink entire enemy fleets. These artificial tsunamis aimed to render warships completely useless. Tesla was also confident that he could control the planet's weather. He believed that by using specific radio waves, he could control the wind, and consequently, the weather, thus controlling the Earth's magnetic field and even the ionosphere. Tesla obtained many patents for these ideas, 
and proved what he was talking about. Although the idea of controlling the weather seems quite harmless, such an invention in the hands of a soldier could become a weapon of mass destruction. This is what many people believe is being secretly developed, because in 1977, a UN convention banned experiments in this field. However, HARP is recognized among potential climate weapon programs. As you know, a weapon of war. It is an American research project launched in Alaska in the spring of 1977. It was designed to study the Aurora Borealis and how the ionosphere interacts with a strong electromagnetic field. Awar. However, it quickly gained a reputation as a project that could control the weather and natural disasters. HARP was blamed for the terrible Indian Ocean earthquake in 2004. At that time, the disaster killed nearly 200,000 people. But even these projects cannot be considered Tesla's most dangerous weapon. On July 11, 1934, the New York Sun and the New York Times mentioned the scientists' new destructive invention. Tesla claimed that the world was on the verge of another world war, and the only way to avoid it was to create a powerful destructive deterrent weapon. He claimed to have invented a death ray, which he called Teleforce, and maintained his claims until his death. The death ray he invented was powerful enough to destroy a giant military force consisting of 10,000 aircraft within 320 kilometers. Tesla subjected this death machine to some minor tests and obtained successful results. But fortunately, this invention was never used in any real war. Authoritarian regime owners around the world offered Tesla to demonstrate this weapon to them, but Tesla refused this offer. Knowing that this weapon project, which he claimed could end all wars it was used in at once, could lead to disastrous consequences if it fell into the wrong hands. Tesla never drew the prototype of the weapon on paper and always kept it in his mind.